Okay, the left half back is in early motion. He leaves about a step and a half early. He comes around the quarterback fullback mesh and he blocks anything that shows coming off the edge of that defense. So any kind of corner blitz would belong to him. All right, and the quarterback reverse pivots and he fakes that ball to that fullback and then he comes on out here with some depth. Now in the down and down option play, the quarterback reverse pivoted flat down the line. And in the belly pass now, on the keep pass, he reverse pivots with a little bit more depth. We say to get across that midline and get about 60 degrees as you come across. He makes a quick arm length ride to the fullback and then he gets that depth out here. So it's not a real long ride. We want to be able to throw the ball quickly if, we, if the read shows us that. Again with the pass patterns, we have the halfback quick in the flat. We have the tight end up the field and at about that seven or eight yard area we tell him to start bending into the seam behind the corner and we have the split end drive to the post and then break hard across the field on what we call a dig route. And again, the quarterback's progression is to throw deep, throw short, or run the ball. And we will help him as coaches on when to throw the throwback. And that's the key pass against all three defenses. And you got to be able to, in this offense, call the key pass and have confidence in it that you're going to complete it. And it's really an extension of your running game when you're dropping the ball off to the halfback in the flat. It's like a long handoff or a short pass you got to be able to have the confidence to drop that ball off in the flat, let that halfback catch the ball and turn up field and run. This is a big part of the, of the whole attack, and really the, the attack begins to start to break down when you can't do this. So you need a quarterback who can at least throw the ball that far and complete that type of a pass. <laughs>